Most definitely now, the coaches have walked off the stage. The crowd is ready. I think everyone around the world right now is ready for this. Now, Naisu, how do you feel about that draft? I like it, man. And I mean, we're going to be jumping right in here to game number one between Blacklist International and RRQ Akira. Who's going to make first of blood? It's up to both of these teams for a strong start. I mean, first up, look at how many purifies that Blacklist has, right? That's got to be three. We'll see it in just a moment. But this shows that Blacklist, they are going to respect the potential that RRQ Akira has with the Atlas last pick coming through. We have the purify on Haji, on Oh My Venus, as well as Oheb. So it's not going to be as easy for RRQ Akira now as they are going to have to calculate on all these spells and their timers. Oh, right now, already the focus on the top side. It's first blood for Haji under a minute in. Yeah, Edward already claiming some dominance in that top side, but honestly, Blacklist did work that into it. We have to watch out for Haji, though, with the rotation of this Farza early on, using that wings by wings. They're going to be trying to make ganks quick. They're going to be trying to make ganks very, very fast. And how that affects RQ Brazil is, since they have King on this Hayabusa, you want to kind of play aggressive early on. And if Blacklist can slow them down in that, if they can take an early on lead, it's going to be a very rough game for them. It's going to be tough. I completely agree with you here. You can already feel the pressure that has been built by Blacklist here even earlier on. And whenever Blacklist wants to go in, since RQ Brazil, they're a little bit more reliant on that level four, their rotation doesn't seem to be as fast, and therefore they're drawing into the tempo that Blacklist initially wants. And here you go, Haji, once again, into the top side. Yeah, he was up there. Takashi looks like he got a couple shots, and he's going to go ahead and recall for now. But you can see, right, how much focus and pressure is being put up in that XP lane. You want to go ahead and give that advantage to Edward the earliest that you can, which has already been done, despite him having that assist there. And yes, Haji grabbing that first blood. Mystery Shop, going to be able to build those burst items that he needs, probably that Clock of Destiny here, and scale. But it looks like RRQ setting their eyes on Oheb here on the bottom side. Shadow Kill going to come out. Turtle is secured, though. Still looking for the kill. The Flicker committed. And they grab the kill, but they trade the turtle. Not a terrible trade, honestly. I'm mm -hmm. almost on the brink of believing that if you can get that trade, the gold lane for the turtle, it almost evens out, right? Especially because they need Gusa Lagusta to be ahead right now. And Oheb, you don't want him to just farm for free. I think a big win condition for RQ Brazil here is going to be get on to Oheb, slow him down as much as possible, and make sure that Gusa Lagusa can get these items in. And speaking of items, we had a little bit of a start there. Did start to see a little bit of penetration coming in for Gusta Lagusta. Yeah, I think Gusta Lagusta is going to focus on building that BOD next. So a really heavy as well as expensive item, but it is going to give that power spike that we usually see Beatrix have. Now on the opposing side, but wait a minute, here, All King right. goes in. Yeah, but, you know, again, this is the sustained game here. Black and Sinatra are going to be just fine with that. That's the, that's the question, right? How soon or who builds that anti-sustain item on RQ Akira here? They're going to need something, right, to work around that. Because you do have multiple options, right? You can go with Dominance Ice if you want. You've got the Blade as well available to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's NMD. tons of things. Yeah, and at the same time... Sustain is going to outpace RRQ Akira, unless, like you guys mentioned, Gusa Lagusa can get those early items already running that weapon mastery as well. But Luis, eye si oh. set on the bottom side. There's the Purify, though. King going to come in for the back side, gets the Shadow Kill. Oh my, Venus still going to survive. And that's exactly what we're talking about. The Sustain is the game. The potential that RRQ Brazil actually had initially because of the Atlas annihilated, right? They need to be able to find a way to bait out perhaps the Purify from maybe Sagan, and then you can see that Louise can find oh. a huge moment, but once again, Louise. Edward owing in with the angle, able to secure a kill as Louise falls. Using that Electo final blow and also just getting a bunch of extra gold here. Can we just talk about the fact that Edward is in the bottom lane right now, in the gold lane, all the way from the top side? This is the problem when you give Edward that Benedetta. He's one of the most proactive EXP laners in, I mean, all of MLB, especially with a movable, with a mobility hero like that. He is all over the map early on already. I mean, look at the pressure he's already putting there. Takashi, though, Black Dragon Form going to come out. It's King that falls. They're still going to be going, though. Haji now focusing on Luis. He's in trouble. 
almost didn't even need to get eaten up by Wise as he falls as well. And now it's Gusta Lagusta on the run here. Four members of Blacklist International gonna get cut off by Agent Zero. Grabbing another kill here, going to the hands of Haji. One by one, they all fall down to the Blacklist International Ube strategy. Haji, Oheb, as well as Oh My Venus, they're being so active on the board, and it makes right, sense, right? You can see the Farsa already starting to hit that damage power spike because of the emblem she brought in, as you can see here on your screen. That Mystery Shop is gonna make getting those items way quicker, and right now, it's starting to make a huge problem for Araki Hoshi. They're already standing at a 5,000 gold lead. You know, one thing I'm a little bit worried about is King's emblem choice, right? He's not going to get a whole lot of 1v1s here, um, especially dealing against Blacklist, who we know like to clump up. Now, taking a look at these items, Beatrix has locked in that oh. ball, but wait a second. You're going to find Edward. Can he escape? It's four members. Oh. RQ Akira. Edward survives. They just can't seal the deal right now. It is starting to become a problem. The survivability right now of Blacklist, even without Oh My Venus Haji. around. Oh. Haji. Okay, he gets the flicker out. As we're saying, Trex. <laughs> Nothing too major there. But at this point, Blacklist is just controlling the map. I always like to refer to them as more of a rubber band team. But when they do get that advantage early on, it is just trouble for the enemy team because they bring some of these late game heroes like Barat. So if they can get a gold lead on you, like 6K right now, it's it's just so hard to come back from. It's hard, but the one thing that I notice is because Blacklist, they're rotating as five most of the time, maybe three, one split, Edward goes in a separate lane. They need to still be aware of those side lanes, right? Because previously we saw that RQ Brazil was able to push that bottom side a little bit, get a little bit of chunk from the tower, and maybe that's how they can work around it. I do like the fact that Brazil did not try to contest that turtle, right? They know the deficit they're in right now, and I think at this point their only option is to not force fights. Blacklist, I don't think, is going to make any mistakes at all, honestly. And as we're now seeing on the screen, Oh My Venus picked Estes 57 times with 46 oh. wins. That is an 86% win rate. Wise. Takashi, just like that, they're going to go ahead and grab it and the turret here. This is the discipline of Blacklist International. They also have that massive lead, like you guys were mentioning. And yeah, going back to it, that's an 80% win rate on the Estes here. That is huge. Definitely it's huge. very, very and, and it's not something that we're concerned about. Like, we're not surprised because that is Venus's power hero. And at the moment, this is looking just like a clean cut, well executed game for Blacklist right now, giving no room for RQ Akira to breathe at all. I mean, they're taking all the jungles away, they're taking all the buffs away. And the Hayabusa, he needs this buff. It's so difficult for him to play anything on the board, realizing once again, like we mentioned, the high and dry. And because they're rotating together, there's, we haven't seen the positive outcome from it as now. We're gonna take a look at the items here eight minutes in. Well, I mean, item-wise, it's looking good for Blackness International. 8K gold lead, like we mentioned, eight minutes in. Again, it's only been eight minutes, right? And it's tough. It's a tough situation to be in if you're RQ Akira here because are you in a position to actually contest the first Lord of the game? Probably not. Should you let it go? Now that's up to them. It's it's better because you don't have to get wiped out. Ooh, as uh. you see, Wise using the Tona's welcome, not gonna get fatal linked at all. You know, so much pressure was on Louise in this game from the very start. We called the Alice pick. He did end up picking it, but right now, with three purifies on the board, Wise with the Detona's Welcome that is pretty much a purify in itself. I mean, there's just nothing that RQ Brazil can do right now to make the play happen. It is just spelling trouble all over, and I don't really see a way they can come back. It's brutal at it's this brutal. point, right? I mean, you can see the only thing that they can do is try and utilize the high mobility of the Hayabusa. Try split the map, try push those side lanes, try and bait Blacklist from going to the opposite side of the map. But even then, it does still feel like Blacklist is already onto this. And so they're responding accordingly with Edward. I mean, here's the question, right? You are Most people that have been watching Blacklist International for a while now know that when the Estes is locked in by Oh My Venus, they're gonna go to what they're known for, the Ube Strat, ultimate bonding experience. Who, who's usually the hero that counters that? Well, Atlas is a great choice, but when you can't actually utilize that ultimate, the Fatal Links, because there's also 
what, three purifies, make it four technically with Wise on the, the Barretts, it's really hard to work around that when you don't have the damage for even follow-ups if it's a mishap. So as you can see already, RQ Akira are gonna lose the mid lane here. Actually, they're holding onto it a little bit, but Oheb decides to take it down anyway, even with the Lord taken out. And RQ Akira trying to hold on a little bit longer into this game. It's 10 minutes in. Does Black International go for this bottom side inhibitor? We also have King just clearing up on the top side. The rest of the team defending in the base. You can already see the poke here from Black International. Luis might be looking for an initiation. Gets the fatal links off, but gets punished right away as Luis falls. Takashi to go in though. King to follow. Gusta la Gusta getting the shutdown, but Saigon has to flicker out. Gets taken out with a double from Moab. And this could very well be it for game number one. As the minions push in the mid side, a Black Lives International looking to end it before the 11 minute mark. Can our Kira hold on? And it looks like they do for a little bit longer. I mean, I don't know how much longer. Blacklist are playing extremely aggressive. They know they don't even need to play super disciplined. They can take what they want right here. Taking another look at these items. Wait a second, Brazil trying to possibly push out. The sustain though, wise. Daytona is welcome, oh. gonna get eaten up right away. King falls here in the mid lane. Another punish. Just RRQ Akira has no entrance. Whether it's in the front, whether they're looking from the side angles, the back with Yuzong, it just does not work right now. Yeah, it just seems like there is not an answer for them. It might be time to start thinking about game two. I think the only possibility here, like if I really want to play the devil's advocate, is try to get them to use those, try to get them to use those purifies with either the Atlas or Takashi on this Yuzong, try to bait out those purifies, and then whoever baited them, the next big CC needs to come in and get them. But that is asking a lot, especially the way Blacklist are playing this. And once either of them goes in, Oheb is so farmed already, he's the second highest gold, or no, he's got the second highest damage on the board as we speak. Once they go in, he is shredding them down. It's hard, it's difficult. I completely agree with you. I would try and bait with Sagan on the Valentina, perhaps with a big play, but even then, it's not possible. They can't look for pickoffs either, and every time King looks for a split push, you see him being taken off off the board and giving Blacklist a bigger lead than they already have. And up until this point here, Louise goes for something here. Ooh. Let's see what they can do. But Another purify. there you go, purify. Right, that seems to always be the answer. Haji going to get to half health, healed up right away. Saigon, though, going in. Not going to be able to get anything as he falls. Haji to grab the kill. Lord here, one-fourth health. Who's going to be able to grab it? It's Oheb with the killing spree. King goes in, oh. can't out-retry oh. wise. Trying to run away from his life, goes oh. back, oh, oh no! He goes oh. back and gets taken out. Three fall for RRQ Akira. <laughs> the way they were both, they were waiting at the shadows. He tries to go back, he sees them all there, he's like, nope, I'm back, and then he's right back at the rest of the team. There was no escape for King there. This could be the end for Blacklist. It's not looking good whatsoever, as once again, Blacklist is going to be pushing this mid lane. Well, they're going in. Luis, one more effort here. Wise going to eat him up. Lord still being worked on. The crystal half health. They might just lock it in. Edward finally goes down, though. RQ Akira still holding on. Feathered Air Strike going to come out, too, but they're pushing it in. A couple hits away, and it's Blacklist International taking first blood. Blacklist International going to be leading the series here with a 1-0. to zero. And now the ball is in RRQ Akira's court. Will they be able to go back into the game with a level head, seeing as that was quite a one-sided game? You know, here's the thing about drafting against Blacklist is you've been playing all these games against other teams who are playing in the current meta, and you just don't expect to have to ban out a Barats or have to ban out an Estes. I know it's Blacklist, but still, those picks can still catch a team off guard. And I think with that, Blacklist was able to secure that game one. And right now, the fans are going crazy. Blacklist looking ready as ever for game two.